I'm gonna make this plaque for a friend of mine. It is a dragon. I've already printed out, traced it onto this piece of wood. And the idea is I'm gonna cut this out of it and then kind of frame it square and then put another piece of wood behind it. And then I'll also need to cut out a piece for the eyes and nose. But I'm going to give this a try and see how this works out. And I'm going to use my scroll saw with the new blade adapter. the eyes out, nose. Alright, where'd it go? I think I'm gonna attempt to sand that one down rather than lose a finger. Here we have the cutout of the dragon minus a tiny little piece that accidentally broke off but I can glue that back on as I'm putting it together giving it a light stain after sanding off any leftover pencil marks I could find I'm going to put it onto this board and stain the whole thing because this isn't going to cover up the entire thing. I thought that would be pretty neat looking. And once I glue that together and let that dry, I'm going to trim the edges a little bit more. Well, let's glue this on. Let's speed it up just a little. I got the dragon cut out and I used it as a guide, measurements, what have you, and I cut out a border piece and I'm going to kind of do a frame around it. I've got my little core tool band strap thing to get here set up. Got this from Harbor Freight. I'm sure you can get them other places as well. But I'm just going to Slide these pieces in here. Test it, sort of. Actually, I've already done that. 
loosen it up just a little bit more. What I'm going to do is glue these on there. But as usual, I'm going to use a brush to spread the glue on. The idea is not to spread it so thick it oozes out. Once this is dry, I'm going to put some clear coat on it, put a little bracket on the back to hang it up, and ta-da! I've contemplated a couple of different things with this dragon picture, if you will. I put a border around it to kind of make it look like a framed picture of sorts. And I've been debating whether or not to just clear coat the whole thing with polyurethane I thought about taping the edges and just polyurethane in this and leaving the rest plain another thing that I've contemplated and I think that's this is what I may go with is using two part epoxy tape the edges and put two part epoxy in here so that it looks like it's covered in glass I think that'll look really pretty and I also want to try to do another frame like this for my daughter so this will give me a chance to experiment to see how well that turns out before making her gift oh i need to put the eyes in here i just remember i haven't put the eyes or the, i think it's the nose let me get that okay i have taken and taped off the edge of this and what I'm going to do, I've mixed up some two-part epoxy. I'm going to pour it in here and kind of smear it around the inside. I don't want it on the frame part. Because I kind of want to make it look like a picture. And a picture frame. And hopefully this will work. I have fairly, excuse me, fairly high confidence it will. And I think I've mixed more than enough. I hate to be wasteful at the same time I hate to get part way through and not have enough so I'm just gonna pour it on and spread it around and see what happens if I can't make it work I don't have a um, heat gun or a hair dryer, but another little method I found to get rid of these bubbles once you spread this out is a little butane torch. You want to be careful with it because you don't want it to scorch anything. It does a pretty good job of popping out any bubbles that might be in there. It's pretty quick too. Don't want to be still with it. Cause you don't want to burn the stuff. Give that a day to dry and see how it looks tomorrow. Well, the epoxy is all dry and it looks wonderful. I'm very pleased. It's nice and smooth. 
you can feel the outline of the dragon which I really didn't intend but it still looks wonderful yeah. I was kind of thinking it would be a very smooth glass completely covered it as if it was a picture in a frame steel this is beautiful I could put more on there but I'm not I'm just gonna leave it at that that is beautiful yes it's beautiful so it's shiny and peel the tape wow. off yes. okay. sort of overlapping it is pretty cool now to decide do I want to sand that little bit off or leave it alone but it's pretty well set it's been a day that is wonderful you can see how shiny yeah. Now I just have to decide do I want to leave it like that or try to sand that back down. Uh, I sanded the edges a little bit. It looks better. But in my excitement, I accidentally scratched the <clears throat> scratched the resin. So I'm going to put another thin coat on there. It should cover that up. Smooth it out, I hope. Try to fix the dragon plaque or whatever when I went thought it was done I noticed right here was a hair so not knowing what else to do I tried to dig it out with the knife and of course that left some scratches so I thought maybe just maybe if I put just a little bit more clear coat over there and then there was a spot over here as well that it could dry like glass and look like not much has happened but you can kind of see that area is rough if I hadn't scratched it the first time when I was sanding this it wouldn't have a problem so I guess I'm going to put more tape on it try to put another coat in there and lift up this corner hopefully that will fix it so in the end, three coats later, we have it pretty much to the edge of the frame, or above it in some cases. I have a little overspill, but I dare not sand it anymore and ruin the finish. So this is just going to have to be as good as it gets. Last, final little touch. Is to put medicine. one of these on. Uh, well, it's, that's what usually comes in these bottles. But once I've taken the medicine, I like to use them as storage containers. And for little things like this, it 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 works well. Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, that's pretty close to center. I think that'll work. Final touch. thing on hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed uh, watching me put this together uh, maybe it gave you some great ideas thank you for watching and have a good day if you like it give it a thumbs up